Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Monday, August the 1st, 2011. I'm so glad you could join me. It's year one, proper 13, and week five in the psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 77, Mark chapter 8, verse 11 through 21. And the Song of Mary, Luke 1, verse 46 to 55. O God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I cry aloud to you, O God. Alleluia. Psalm 77. I cry aloud to you, God. Cry aloud to you to hear me. In the day of my distress, I sought you. And my hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered you and I groaned. I pondered and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled and could not speak. And I thought of the days long ago and remembered the years long past. At night I mused within my heart and I pondered and my spirit questioned. Will you reject us forever? and no longer show favor to us? Has your love vanished forever? Has your promise come to an end? Do you forget to be gracious or in anger withhold compassion? I said this is what causes my grief, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remember your deeds. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works, and I ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy, what God is as great as our God? You are the God who works wonders, and you showed your power among the peoples. Your arm redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Rachel and Leah. The water saw you, O God. The water saw you and trembled, and the depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. The sky sent forth their voice. Your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled around the sky, and your flashes lighted up the world, and the earth was moved and trembled. When your way led through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints, you guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I cry aloud to you, O God. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 8, beginning at verse 11. The Pharisees came and began to argue with Jesus, asking him for a sign from heaven. And he sighed deeply in his spirit and said, Why does this generation ask for a sign? Truly, I tell you, no sign will be given. And he left them, and skidding into the boat again, he went across to the other side. Now the disciples had forgotten to bring any bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. And Jesus cautioned them, saying, Watch out, beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and the yeast of Herod. And they said to one another, Is it because we have no bread? And becoming aware of it, Jesus said to them, Why are you talking about having no bread? Do you still not perceive or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and fail to see? Do you have ears and not hear? And do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, how many baskets full of broken pieces did you collect? They said to him, Twelve. And the seven for the four thousand, how many baskets full of broken pieces to you did you collect? And they said to him, seven. And then he said to them, do you not yet understand? Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, 
unity in your church and peace in the whole world. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. That we may be bound together by the Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Francis and St. Clair and all your saints, entrusting one another and all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Magnificat anima mea dominum. My soul proclaims your greatness. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. Magnificat anima mea dominum. You have done great things for me. Holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you in every generation. Magnificat anima mea dominum. You have shown the strength of your arm. You have scattered the proud in their conceit. You have cast the mighty down from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. Magnificat anima mea dominum. You have filled the hungry with good things. And the rich you have sent away empty-handed. You have come to the help of your servant Israel. For you have remembered your promise of mercy. The promise you made to our ancestors. To Abraham and Sarah and their children forever. Magnificat anima mea dominum. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, so now and forever, amen. Alleluia. Magnificat anima mea dominum. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.